In this video, I'm going to show you how to use cardboard apps on your Daydream View. Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Sebastian and this channel is called Daydream District, bringing you the latest and greatest of Daydream VR. So if this is your first time here and you would like to stay up to date about anything Daydream VR, consider to subscribe. So you would like to use the great cardboard app on your daydream view and you wonder how to make that happen well great news for you it's not so hard and good that you found this video because i'm going to tell you exactly now what you have to do first of all google has updated their cardboard sdk so for all these cardboard developers it's very easy for them to make their app compatible with daydream vr so you don't have to use any of these tricks that i'm going to tell you about so if your developer has already upgraded the cardboard app that you would like to try you can simply start the app and use the motion controllers touch button as click input so if the developer of the app that you would like to try out has not upgraded the app then there is still a way to use it and i'm going to show you how now well first of all as you know when you put your pixel or your daydream device into the view then automatically the daydream app is going to start and we want to suppress that behavior and we can simply do so by deactivating nfc and i'm going to show you now how that works on the pixel xl but it should be very very similar in the other daydream devices so you simply go to settings and here you scroll down to more click on more and here is the nfc and simply disable nfc so that's the first thing that you have to do. Next, you simply start the Cardboard app, but not from within VR, but simply from your Android screen. You open it and then you might get a message which tells you, incompatible app, this Cardboard application is not compatible with Daydream headsets. Then you have two choices, cancel and pair viewer, but you don't have another viewer. So you simply click on cancel and that's it. The screen will go away and the app will start. Just like this now so um, what you do then you simply put your 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 phone into the daydream view and that's it then you can use the cardboard app with your daydream view so you get this far however now another problem might arise this other problem is input because for cardboard there's a button on most cardboard viewers and this button mechanically touches the screen for input. Now, as you know, on the Google Daydream view, we don't have such a button. And because the app that you want to try is not upgraded, you also cannot use the touchpad. So you have to find a workaround. And I'm going to tell you about this workaround now. Now with your Pixel or with your other Daydream ready device, you got such a connector here. This is a connector which connects USB-C to standard USB. You need to find this connector or purchase one. But with most phones, you should have gotten one. So with this connector, what you can do and what you have to do, you simply connect any USB mouse to it. So what you do, you connect the USB from the mouse with this end from this connector. Ryan <laughs> and you stick this USB-C connector into your Pixel or in your other Daydream ready phone. Now, if the cardboard app requires you to click on the cardboard button, what you do, you simply click on the left mouse button and this will register as a cardboard button click. So with these simple workarounds, you can use cardboard apps that have not been updated to work with Daydream on your Daydream. This short video has been part of our Daydream District Q&A series where I answer your questions. This question came up in a YouTube comment, so if you have any questions, simply also leave it in the comment section below. I hope this video was helpful for you and you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to Daydream District yet, do so now. Keep on daydreaming and see you in the next video.